Hey guys, welcome to Atari Story 7. Today I'm reviewing this, which is the Funko Pop San Diego Comic Con 2020 exclusive Cyborg Superman action figure. So, really cool, really blessed to pick this update. This, along with the Stan Lee from the first Iron Man movie, was at my Target. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. So I found this day, like I said, with the Stan Lee Iron Man, and, or Stan Lee from Iron Man, but this is really cool, and um, I didn't expect to see these. My targets usually don't stock the summer exclusives or the summer convention San Diego stuff. They typically don't do that, and they didn't have any electronics. They had it on an end cap and toys on the very bottom shelf underneath some squishies, and yeah. They had three of this guy and a whole bunch of Stan Lee's. And this guy looks very cool. I love the artwork on the side of the box here. We got the sticker there. We got a nice clear view of him in the box. Uh, we got the Superman emblem there. We got this artwork. The artwork on him just looks amazing. And then on the back, we have Cyborg Superman. And I mean, honestly, it's hard to believe we haven't gotten Cyborg Superman in Funko Pop form. At least I don't think we have till this pop. So, here we have Hank Henshaw, the cyborg Superman, and man, this thing just looks so cool, and if you don't know, basically this character comes from the reign of the Superman storyline, which takes place after death of the Superman, and he's one of the new people that proclaims himself as a new Superman, however, and actually, he's actually just evil, uh, and yeah, he just looks so cool. I love the menacing teeth here, I love the red eyes, the little circuit detailing, it just looks so cool, we got some nice details here. I love how the face is split too, so you can see the classic Superman head, and this definitely matches some of the previous Funko Superman heads we seen before so that's cool we got the nice little curl and then on this side you can see where the face kind of plastered on there it's just really creepy and really cool looking and uh moving down really quickly here we have the classic s shield and you can see it gets darker when it's on the steel i don't know if that's actually something that really how it looks in the comic books i don't believe it is uh but maybe it was just like a paint error i don't know it looks really cool though it's like a darker lighter touch i like that and then on this side you have the classic looking superman suit but the mechanical body looks really good you can see all those little wiring details and indents and i'm filming with a new camera by the way guys so you might notice it looks a little bit crisper a little bit nice and uh down here we have the boots which look pretty cool and then we have the silver metal now something i love that you probably just saw was he has the um yellow s shield on the back this is so cool Many toy lines, when they make a Superman figure, will drop the S shield. They won't do it. Like, even most movies and TV shows won't actually have this on the back of his cape anymore, just because, um, although for that, it's a different reason. It's mainly CGI. It's just kind of hard to put it on there. But regardless, you know, I always like the yellow S shield, and I really appreciate when toy companies um, make an effort to put it on there. Because, like, I don't really feel this is something Funko had to do, but I think it's pretty cool. And I always like it when toy companies do that. It's just something I like. But then again, I also really like the yellow S shield on the back. So overall, I think the Cyborg Superman is a really cool Funko Pop. You know, it's obviously one of the most unique looking Superman villains we've ever seen. And uh, again, I'm just kind of surprised it took so long because, you know, you would think this guy would be pretty easy to do from day one. He usually, like, he mostly just uses Superman parts. So, yeah. Regardless, I'm happy we have him now. Um, like I said, they're hitting targets. I don't know if they'll be available for much longer because, like I said, they had way less of this guy than they did of Stan Lee. So uh, definitely check your local targets. But yeah, thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.